Slender Man is coming back after 10 years. After many stories, games, photos, videos, and even a movie of the infamous creepypasta, Slender Man makes his grand reappearance in Slender the Arrival with a giant update. Welcome everyone to the Horror Sanctuary, your horror game reporting channel from AAA to indie horror game updates, easter eggs, and news. I'm your host Karudi and today I will be sharing with you today's story. Slender Man was created in 2009 by Eric Netson from a Photoshop contest to create a set of paranormal images spawning the now famous creepypasta. Following the popularity in 2012, Slenderman's first game came out, a beta game named Slender the Eight Pages was released to the world as a first person survival horror game, with the basic task of collecting eight pages while running away from the Slenderman. With big creators at the time filming their gameplays to YouTube, it caused a huge surge on the eyes of the creepypasta throughout the years. Soon following, in 2013, another Slender game came out, known as Slender the Arrival. Slender the Arrival was created in 2013 by Blue Isles Studios. Slender the Arrival was one of the very first Slender games that had an actual story filled with suspense, jump scares, and unforgettable moments, captivating millions of players. Now after 10 years have passed since then, on July 27th, the official game's Twitter, at PlaySlenderTA, released an interesting post with a trailer with the caption, It's been 10 years long, but he's back. Slender the Arrival visual overhaul coming this October 2023. Attached was a trailer that we will now review. One of the major changes listed on their site is that this game will introduce a complete visual overhaul utilizing the latest and greatest technologies and Unreal Engine 5.2. For those of you who didn't know, the original game was created on Unity. And here we have a few comparison shots they provide us from before the update and what it is to expect from this visual overall update. In my honest opinion everyone, this brings a refreshing look to the game with a sense of nostalgia to 2013. These screenshots of the outdoors look amazing and then the ones in the cave mine, well, they look terrifying. I'm sure this update will bring everyone old and new in the community together to enjoy this thrill that is Slender the Arrival. But this isn't the end of this update video. On their site, you will discover the announcements of something named S Lost Chapters. Based off their Steam page, I'm not sure if it would be its own standalone game or even in DLC, but it is intertwined with Slender the Arrival story. The only hint given by that is their section called He's Not Alone and Neither Are You. It's saying in this relentless nightmare, expect to encounter not only the iconic adversary you only faced, but face off a new cast of terrifying beings. Who or what else is out there? Now based off the screenshots alone, it looks amazing and in all honesty pretty terrifying. I'm sure it's going to be something you horror fans will definitely be enjoying. In my honest opinion with everything, I think this is going to be amazing. I don't think I've seen a game that's come out 10 years later with an update as big as this one. So I'm very excited to see what they do with this visual update and I'm sure it's not just going to be a visual update. I'm sure they'll update the audio of the game as well to make it much more suspenseful for us as we do a second playthrough of their game. And I'm definitely looking forward to Lost Chapters, whether it's crossing paths with the Slenderman once more or finding something even more terrifying. The Slender the Arrival visual update will be coming out in October 2023 alongside with the Lost Chapters. We will definitely be making sure to keep you guys updated and in the loop of this game. Well, that's going to be everything for today's episode. What is your honest opinion, everyone, about this trailer? Are you excited for the visual update or are you more excited for the Lost Chapters? Let us know down below in the comments and with that being said we will see you in the next video